Hey guys! Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. Hope you are having a blessed day wherever you are. It's even morning, night, or afternoon. Hope when you are watching this video, you are in a good emotion. But welcome to my God's Hallelujah Kitchen. And yes, it's one of my favorite place in the house and I am going to cook you something lovely, something quite healthy and delicious. So you've heard of stew peas. Most of you have heard of stew peas. Okay, normally when you're doing stew peas, let me show you the drum. Anyway. Normally when we are doing stew peas or everybody doing stew peas, they will use the kidney bean, okay? And most people know what kidney bean looks like, okay? So, I actually went into a, a shop on Carmel Road and I saw a black bean. It's finished now because I've cooked um, the rest that my sister left back. And this is a packet and it's black beans. So I saw this bean and I said, I've never tried that bean before and I need to try to see how uh, it tastes. And I actually look up the benefit of eating um, black bean and it's got so much benefit in it, so much health benefit, you know, and I said, I, I actually want to try it. And so today I'm going to do um, black bean stew, okay? But normally you'll use like, for some people you use for their stew peas, beef or chicken or uh, whatever meat they may have. But today I am actually going to use sawfish. So let me show you. I have cooked my sawfish. So that's my sawfish. I have cooked it and... Uh, um, take out all the excess bone that was in it because I don't really like to buy the other let me just turn the camera properly I don't like to buy the other salt fish because for some reason I don't I'm, I'm not sure if I trust that it's salt fish I like to buy my salt fish that has the bone in it so I can actually say it's salt fish and it was going around to say that the boneless um, salt fish is actually um, snakes and I don't really want to Think that I'm eating snakes, you know, because I'm, I'm scared of snakes. So <laughs> that's one of my secrets. I, I'm really, really petrified for snakes. So I don't want to be sitting down thinking that, ah, you're eating snakes. And snakes, they said snakes haven't got any bone. So when I'm buying my saltfish, I buy the one with the bone. So I come and I boil it and I soak it in some water, get all the excess salt out of it, take off the bones and yeah voila that's it so i have pressured my black bean i'm going to show you what the black bean looks like in the pot okay so the water is not going to be red like the kidney bean so you have this dark looking water but it's all healthy so this is my black bean Ooh, voila that's black bean so it's all cooked i have pressured it with some garlic and a, a bit of um, a piece of ginger, fresh ginger, and that is cooked. So, journey with me as I cook for you. And I would like to share my lovely meal with my Facebook family. Thank you for my new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you um, sub subscribing. And I hope you enjoy all the video that we as twin will put out and hope it will be beneficial in some way okay so in this pot it's gonna be my rice so I've actually put the water to boil and I'm gonna pop in there let me get myself a spoon I will talk to you guys in a bit so I've got some flora light butter and it's plant a 100% plant goodness okay I am not too good with milk even though I like evaporated milk so I'm not really too good with it so I'm gonna put um 
with some butter. When you're cooking your rice, as I said, everybody cook different. But when I'm cooking my rice, I put some butter in the water, okay, and salt to taste. Not too much salt because you don't want a salty rice, okay? And I don't put too much water in, in, in the pot. The reason for that is you don't want it to be too soft and saggy. So I put um, a limited water in. When it cook, if it do need some more water, um, I pop some boiling water from the kettle and just allow it to cook that way. But as I said, everybody cook different. So I'm um, gonna put in some season the pot. You know, could take a bit more salt. Don't do like me, because I think that water was a bit hot, washing my hands at the moment. So, I have washed my rice, and this is the rice, I have washed my rice, the water is already boiling, the butter is in it, the salt is in it. Some people can, uh, will put um, spring onion, scallion, and um, thyme to kind of spice up the water. But I, I sometimes do that, but I'm not doing that today. So it's just water, butter, and salt. And I'm going to pop my rice in. Okay? And that's my rice. I have already washed my rice. Okay? To save time. Get all the rice out. Get... Woo! That's music. So, that's it. And make sure the heat is turned down. When you're cooking the rice when you're cooking rice and it finish you can see the, the the rice grain change it gets softer and there should be no water left in the pot okay that would be rice pudding or rice porridge if you've got lots of water in your rice it's not rice cooking it's actually rice pudding or rice porridge okay so make sure that when you're cooking rice to have with, whether you're having it with chicken, fish, curry, whatever you're having it with, or stew bean or stew peas, make sure that the water is dried out, okay? So my fire is turned down. Now within this dish, I actually have, voila, some flour. When you're doing stew, Peas, you normally have some spinners in it so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make some dough to put some spinners in my stew peas so journey along with me as I go and get myself some water and let me just use wash this out so I can get the water in it to make my dough well how are you guys how are you coping? You know, we're still in lockdown and I must say the death toll is not changing in a positive way at the moment, but they're looking to um, kind of open back some places and um, like shops and so on. And I think the 15th of June, more places will be opening. So what I've just done, I put a bit of salt in it for taste and I am going to use just plain water to make my dough, okay? Just plain water. And I'm making the dough now. But some places like Jamaica, where I come from, my beautiful Jamaica, um, I see where things is, is stepping up, people is actually functioning again, and you know, luckily in Jamaica, they have a lot of lunch spaces and stuff like that. They can move about and, you know, be more safer. Yeah. It's a little beautiful island. With lots of greenery and lots of water, beaches and stuff like that. So you can have lots of fun in that beautiful little island. Anyway, so I am making my dough. Yeah. 
So this is how you make dough. If you have made it before, make sure that you timely put water in because you don't want to have a saggy dough, okay? You don't want that, okay? It will call spoil. Okay, you, they will say, oh, you spoil the dumpling, man. Okay? So this is the Jamaican, you know. I'll make you spoil the dumpling, sir. A wild boy, man. My niece is the auntie, you alright? That's my little niece. She would say, and whenever she called, she would say, Auntie, you alright? You sure? And I said, Yes, I am. You sure, Auntie, you alright? She's so sweet. Absolutely. She's always checking on and us to make sure that everybody is okay. Love her to bits. Yeah. So I have made my dough, and this is actually the dough. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it one side. Yeah, and as I get my stew black bean ready, I'll take a little bit of water. I'm gonna try to water. Okay, so I'm gonna cover that. Just a little bit of napkin like that, and put it over here. And when I'm cooking in the kitchen, I know. You make a bit of mess when you're cooking. It's all it's okay because you're cooking. But I like to kind of clear it away so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I pop this over on this counter. So within my stew, I have some freshly squeezed coconut milk that I'm gonna put in there. And then I've got my season, I've got my all-purpose season. Yeah, you can use any all-purpose season, and then I've got my Maggie Q. And I also have black pepper that is going to go in there. Uh, I've got some chili, put a bit of kick, a little spice in it. And this is a regular all purpose, but I'm going to pop a bit of this because it's a Jamaican one. And I have some Jamaican season that I'm going to also pop in there. Oh, yeah. And in this, I have crushed some pimento. So I'm going to pop that in. And I'm going to have a bit of ketchup. As I said, don't judge me. Everybody cooks different. Okay? And I'm sure nobody has ever used black bean to do stew bean or stew peas. Okay? I'm going to put some chili and a bit of hot pepper. And that's my stew black bean. Okay? look at my rice guy it's not completely cooked as i said before i don't like to put too much water in the pot so i'm gonna pop a bit of water okay just to bring it to the right texture okay but so far so good it's looking good Thumbs up, remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Okay, guys, I appreciate that. So, this is what my rice looks like. At the moment, my black bean is still going to boil in for a bit, and then I'm going to show you the procedure of what I will be doing with my black bean. I am now about to pour my coconut milk. So I put the coconut milk in, okay, and then I am now going to put all my fresh seasons. So I've got some thyme, spring onion, onion, garlic, and I've got a country pepper, but I don't really want all of this pepper, so I'm going to cut a bit off, because not everybody can have really spicy. So I'm going to put all that in, yeah? And that is looking lovely yeah so I'm gonna let that boil and then after I'm gonna put my salt fish and my dumpling in then I'm gonna season the pot up with some herbs and stuff like that I've got some parsley that I'm gonna put in there and I also have some mixed herb that I'm gonna actually put in there okay let me show you my rice normally 
for some of us don't know if everybody do that when your rice almost about to cook you just get in a bit of foil put it over it and you don't have to add any more water it just cook the rest off the rice look at that guys it's looking absolutely beautiful my rice is not soft it's a bit shelly and that's how we want it today is properly cooked and rice is ready so all needs now is my stew black bean to cook and then we have dinner and i will serve you a lovely healthy meal I am going to actually put the salt fish in now. So, this is my salt fish. My salt fish. And I'm going to put it in. All the salt fish out. Okay, stir it in. And, let me just cut a bit of this pepper. Ooh. The rest over there. And I'm going to put my fermento in, give it some taste, and just stir that around. The next ingredients, let me just wash my hands, so I'm going to put my spinners in. Dry my hands. Okay, so got my spinners, I'm gonna put those in. So you get some little tiny piece, little tiny piece, and you just roll it, and this is your tiny spinners. I'm gonna put those in. What you guys are having for dinner today? It's Friday and I am cooking for the family rice and stew black bean. So what are you guys having? What do you enjoy eating most? Yeah, as I said, in this kitchen, in this family, we actually eat what we feel for. So we don't really have a, a routine just eating one thing all the time we actually change it up a bit can spice it up a bit so we have a variety of different things going into our body and we try to eat as healthy as possible i know to maintain a healthy diet sometimes it may seem that oh it's quite expensive just go to the market you know get your cabbage get your lettuce get your tomatoes Get all of your beans because beans are good. Your kidney beans, black beans, black eyed peas, all those stuff are quite good. I love my quinoa. That is quite good too. I normally cook that, but today I'm doing rice. So, and yes, I have my banana, green banana, cooked green bananas, cooked green planting. That is quite good for you also. You can also use your banana to make porridge and your planting can make porridge too. Love a... Um, turn meal you can do turn meal so you know you can you can be healthy and it's not expensive okay it's not expensive so this is what i'm doing getting my dough in yeah it's looking good as i said with the kidney bean you would have like a red look but with black bean, you have like a dark, dark look, okay? It's really lovely. The important thing is, turn this in too, is that it's quite healthy. You can check it and Google. Yeah, it's good for your cholesterol. Um, it's good um, for those who probably have um, high blood pressure, color, um, high cholesterol, or... You know those things suffering with those things so you eat those this is quite healthy for your body so now i'm gonna kind of spice the pot down so i'm gonna put my maggie cube in yeah 
and just mince this out. It's my Maggi cube that in the bin. And I'm gonna have some all purpose to my pot. Yeah. And then a little chili. Give it a bit of kick. Because chili is, is you know spicy. Yeah. Then I'm have my Jamaican seasoning. With this, I haven't actually put no salt in it because the seasoning itself has enough salt, okay? And you shouldn't have too much salt in the body. And then I'm going to put some butter, okay? So put some butter to your stew, yeah? Okay? And I've got, as I said, I've got two kind of um, all-purpose. I like this. Um, all purpose is a survey taste, so I'm gonna use some of this into my pot, and then I'm gonna put some mixed herb. Yep, and some parsley, and water. So let me just show you what it looks like at the moment as it cooked. So this is my stew black bean with my sawfish, if you could smell it, it's so lovely. And my spinners with all of my fresh season and the dry season that I've already put in with some butter. Going to cover that and then I have to, I'm going to put some tomato ketchup and some sweet chili and a bit of the hot spicy pepper. And I will show you what it looks like. So far so good. So my beautiful viewers i am now about to put some ketchup i said everybody cook differently don't judge me and some sweet chili and a bit of spice so this is hot pepper not too much and I'm going to give it a bit of stir. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. Don't tell me, guys. It looks absolutely delicious. So, you'd say this is quite a, a vegetarian meal because it's salt fish. And not everybody can eat beef or chicken. Some people can't eat, even eat chicken. So... If you want um, to try stew peas or stew bean, black bean, you can actually use um, salt fish or you could cook it without any meat at all or any fish at all. Okay, so you can only use the salt fish. I've never tried any other fish um, to do stew bean, but this salt fish can actually do it. Okay, so so far you see the gravy part is coming together. Yeah. And it look in absolutely beautiful this will go beautiful with the rice okay so remember thumbs up guys it's looking delicious so tell me I want you to put in the comment what you think about our cooking as sisters yeah and who is the best cook uh, joking I'm just joking because the both of us cook unique in our own special way i love my sister cooking she actually enjoy my cooking also i i just enjoy the different taste that we bring to the kitchen and the uniqueness of our way of cooking so even though we are twins you know we we, we cook different you know so, so there's different be, between the both of us when it comes to our cooking and other stuff but we will share in other video about our journey as twin sisters yeah it's a beautiful journey yeah it has its magic to it and it also have a bit of pain a story without laughter or um, pain is not quite effective you just have one emotion in your story it just seems like something is totally missing so our journey is twin, you got the ups and you got the down. But it's all the ending always the good positive. 
is quite beautiful having a twin sister. Yeah. So we'll share the story. Okay. So I'm gonna take the the time out because it just it's already cooked out in. So I'm gonna pop that in the bin. Yeah. And so I'll just leave that to cook. And there's another piece of thyme. Yeah. Take it out. Okay. Ooh, that's looking absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So if the gravy part is not thick enough, I normally use, and let me just show you what I use. Just pop this over here. And cover the pot for a bit. Yeah. So we, when we're cooking in this family, we normally use corn corn flour to thicken the gravy. Doesn't matter if you're doing chicken, if you're doing pork, if you're doing beef, we normally use this for thickening. Um, it's white. Let me just show you what it, it's in a bottle that we pour some out. So it actually is white. So it's like it looks like flour, but it's not flour. So take a spoon out and put it into a smaller container. Put a bit of water in it, mix it out, and pop it into whatever you're cooking and it thicken the gravy. Okay, so I'm gonna do that when I know it's actually ready and almost finishing to cook. Yeah. So how your week been? It's Friday, and today is the 12th of June, and we have been having rain since we entered this month. May was a sunny month. And I know for some people, rain can be pre um, present a kind of doom and gloom and, you know, everything. But it's how you look at the rain, how you think about the rain, will give you the emotions that you're feeling. So if you get up and you see rain and say, oh, it's a bad day. It's actually going to be a bad day because you claim it. You actually said it and claim it, you know. But if you get up and you see the rain and say, wow, it's a lovely day. Can, can, can you imagine? You give your, your body right to feel good. It's like you're giving it permission to accept the rain. But if you get up and you see the rain, you think, ah, oh, it's a horrible day. That's how you're going to feel. Yeah? Because you're actually, your, your word is so powerful. You give yourself the, uh, uh, the power to feel whatever you speak. Yeah? So if you say it's beautiful, you're going to feel beautiful. If it says horrible, you're going to actually feel horrible. Okay? So be careful what you're saying. And speak life whenever you get the chance to. Okay? So, I'm continuing cooking and I'm loving you guys as you're loving us. So, guys, it's not thick enough, as I said before. So, this is, this is it. But it's not actually thick enough. Okay? Even though it's the um, bean. So, I'm going to actually put a tiny bit just to get it to what I really want it to. The, the texture okay and as I say you put that in and just pop a bit of water yeah and then you mix it out and you pop it to your sauce and you get a thicker sauce okay Look at that. Starting to become thick already. Look at that. Oh, absolutely amazing. Yeah. If I should say so. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Sawfish stew black bean. And we always said stew peas. Yeah, stew beans. Wow. Absolutely amazing. So let me just pop that fire down. I'm going to share my... So it's finished now. And I'm going to share you guys a plate, you guys a plate, and I hope you enjoy. It's smelling so delicious in this kitchen. Hope you guys will enjoy what I shared you and hope you guys digest and feel beautiful. So from my kitchen to wherever you are, my beautiful people, dinner is served. And here you have it, black bean stew with rice some tomato and cucumber and i hope you guys enjoy 
feel relaxed while you're eating this lovely meal wish you guys were actually here to share you guys a plate and so you can enjoy this meal love you guys remember to like share subscribe and hit the notification button thank you for all my subscribers and for you all for watching bye bye now